Hello and welcome to another Warframe video. In this one, we're going to take a look at the Nuke Silent build, which I use for ESO. You can also use it for defense. You can also use it in Steel Path, whichever you like. So let's take a look at it. So here we are in the ESO. As soon as we go in the portal, we're going back to eat our Toxic Clash. So we can start spreading the spores immediately. Kill the Corpus. When you pop in the spores, wait for a little while for the spores to spread. So you can you kind of manually pick the Corpus here. And then use mine. Basically, that's how you're going to do it. Spread the spores, wait for a little bit. Don't immediately pop them because let it get some infection going on. Again, popping the spores, waiting a bit, and then using mine. Basically, what this is doing is we're letting the damage increase so we can immediately easily kill the enemies with Miasma. Even without Miasma, you can kill enemies at one point. It'll be so powerful. As soon as you see a stack decaying, what you want to do is immediately find an enemy and start spreading the infection again, or it will affect your damage. Also, as you can see, sometimes I'm using mold. Status cleanse, or if my shields are completely gone, I use mold so I can shield keep easily because I have free free spike on. So that's the reason I'm using mold. If you do get infected by a same magnetic effect or something, you can easily use mold to cleanse that cleanse that status. You don't need to have each other to hold for that, but it does help. So again, we're just leaving the spores spread we're just marinating the enemies with our spores letting the damage increase the more number you have on the infected the more it is going to spread the damage easily it will kill the enemy
So yeah, that is basically how you nuke in ESO. Don't just rush into it. Don't just use 1 and 4. Let the enemies marinate in your spores a bit before you actually queue off using Miasma. Because, again, it does help with damage to the environment. So yeah. So what's the difference between using Toxic Lash and not using to Toxic Lash in terms of popping the spores? So let's take a look at it. We're going to spawn Grenade. First of all, we're going to see how it affects not having Toxic Lash on and if you're popping the spores. So as you can see, the grenade is now affected by the spores. If you shoot it anywhere, the spores will not pop. You have to manually shoot the spores for it to spend, for it to spread. Or you have to actually kill the enemy. Uh, but the easiest way to do this is just using Toxic Clash, which I'll show in just a second. Also, the thing with spores is the more enemies are affected by it, the more damage you will squeeze out of it. That's why I will recommend not to use your spores, pop it, and immediately use Miasma. Let the spores damage increase a bit, let it marinate, is what I'll say. And then you can easily use your Miasma map and increase the damage four times. That's the use of Miasma mostly, increasing your damage four times, the spores damage. So let's take a look at what happens to the spores if you use Toxic Lash. I'm going to activate my creep, that is Toxic Lash. I'm going to come here, pop the spores. I'm just going to shoot the grenade anyway. As you can see, without popping the spores, the spores are already spreading out. So that's the reason, try to always have Toxic Lash up because it really helps in popping the spores, spreading them easily without you actually having to kill the enemy or just popping the spores in Also, if you took notice on the corrosive numbers, they are continuously increasing because the spores are, the spores are spreading a lot, right? As you can see in the bottom right corner, the spores infected. It is increasing. That's the thing that increases that. And if we use Miasma now, it's going to deal four times the damage of what the spores alone would do. So yeah, that's the difference between using Toxic Lash and not using that. Of course, it works really great against Corpus as well. You can kind of ignore having Toxin on your weapons. Just pop in the toxic clash and you can deal toxin damage along with other elements so it's really useful so taking a look at the build brief respite so you can shield keep easily if you want to use growing power you can use it i just personally prefer brief respite so i can shield keep easily the growing power it gives you additional ability strength if you apply serious with your weapons. Spores or Miasma sadly doesn't count, so you have to use weapons to apply the status. Toxin Lash, however, does help in this one. Handspring, so you don't have to stay on your butt too long. The lesser you are on your butt, the more DPS you will deal. You can also choose to use Prime Show for it if you have it. Blind Rage, so we can have a lot of strength, almost 100%, 99% strength, but it does cost efficiency, so to balance that out a bit, I'm using Streamline. Augur messages, of course, first of all, shield getting, it does help the whole set if you have it. The, the reason I'm using it is duration, because Saturn does need some duration. If not a lot, she needs some duration. Overextended gives you 90% range, but it does cause the strength. That's why we're using Blind Rage and Intensify, you can also use Transient Fortitude in the slot of Intensify if you want. But again, it will cost duration, so be careful about it. Adaptation, you can use Adaptation or Rolling Card, whichever you want. Uh, Saturn's Molt does 
kind of do the job of rolling card. It cleanses the status effects, but does not give you invincibility. But if you are using Grief Spike, it helps you in shield clearing. So be sure to look out for that. But you, but if you're using Brief Respite with it, so it will help you shield gate and let you take less damage. Regenerative Molt. This is my personal preference. I like to use Molt a lot, so I can heal Saren as well. But you can use any other mod that you wish. If you want, you can use Efficiency or any other mod that you wish to use in the slot. Stretch again because we want as many enemies as we can cover with our spores and miasma so that's the reason but mostly building for strength range range most of all is the most important thing if you do have rank 5 energize you can completely ignore efficiency you can put in prime flow and that's a lot but if you have rank five, that is bolt augmented is a new arcane from zaraman it is really good it gives you up to 60 percent ability strength in addition to what you've already put on, so it really helps with the damage. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, found it useful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. There will be more Warframe content coming out really soon. So till then, take care. Bye bye.